What's up? All right, it's your boy Chris. I'm super stoked about this Saturday, level one, team of two, beast mode. All right, you know your heat times. You know what the workouts are. It's time to now show up and show out. Do what you've been doing and you're going to have a great time. Hey man, the energy, the culture, if you've been there, you know what it is. For those that have never been, get ready, man. The culture is matchless. The reason why I'm here to talk to you specifically is because I want the best experience for you. And every single competition, our goal is to improve and get better. So here's a couple of details I want you to be prepped and ready for. Registration. Registration opens at 7.30 in the morning. Our first heat starts at nine o'clock, which is more than enough time to get there. Now, if you've never been to level one, this is off Claiborne and Amida area, it's gonna be obviously parking right outside the gym, like street parking. And then the further you wait to get there, the more blocks you're probably gonna have to walk. You've probably seen the ticket sales, you've seen the amount of athletes that are gonna be participating. You know our volunteer team is huge. So just give yourself time to park is what I'm getting to. Our registration team will not let you in because you're running late. All right, you cannot skip a line because you're running late. What I'm getting to again is time is so important. Please guys, get there early. Our very first walkthrough of the workout will be at 8.45. I would plan to get there around 8, 8.15, get loose, get familiar with the facility, meet some cool people, get prepped, strategize with your buddy. In your registration, whether you show up together or not, you will register by your team name. Once you register by your team name, we will give you your packet for you and your teammate. Now, if your teammate is not there and you register without them, you will get an athlete wristband. Once they arrive, they will not be able to get in without that athlete band. But everybody has a cell phone. Once you get there or you get that call, walk up to the front, give them their wristband, and then you're ready to go in. All right, so that's the easy part. Now in your registration packet, we're gonna have a gift to you because that's what we like to do, but also your bib. Your bib is what gives you your score. Your bib is going to tell you where you need to go every single heat, so you cannot lose this. Once you receive your registration packet, it's up to you. If you lose it, you will not be able to enter the course. We will not be able to score you. So it's really important between you and your homie you do not lose your bib. So a visual of what the bib will look like. This is bib 99. This is team B smoke. All right, you'll notice that there's three up top, three up top, uh, at the bottom when it comes to scores. We're gonna make this so seamless when you go through the flow of the workout. Our goal is to have your overall score in our system within five minutes. And that's gonna happen with your bib. So example, if I am team 99, once the onboarding team gets me set in the onboarding area, I know right when I walk to the floor where I'm going because your judge is gonna be holding up your bib number. So you're not going to some random judge or looking for some random lane. The person that's holding your bib number up in heat number one will be the place that you go. Example, I'm walking to the floor, I see a judge holding bib 99 on their clipboard. I'm going to go to judge that's holding 99 and I'm gonna give them my bib. That's it. Once you do concept two for eight minutes, during that two minute rest recovery period to rotate to the next spot, the judge is gonna give you your bib back with your score. You're gonna take that bib and then you're gonna give it to uh, heat number two judge. They will be holding a 99 on their clipboard so you're gonna know exactly where to go. Give it to them, you're gonna put the work in, they're gonna put your score in, heat number two, they're gonna give it back to you, and I think you get where I'm going. You're gonna take that same bib, you're gonna be looking in the section of three where it's the two concept twos, there's gonna be judge holding up your number for this sake is 99, I'm gonna to go to the judge that's holding 99 on the clipboard, I'm going to give them my bib, I'm gonna put the work in, and they're gonna to continue to put the score. After you finish your sixth and final one, the uh, director, of the Beast Mode games, which keeps our scores and insert them, will take your final bib and enter the war room and enter your score within five to 10 minutes after you finish. Our Beast Mode games is gonna be epic. So our goal for you is not to hear this for the first time when you get there. So overall perspective of this whole video is get there early, register, get your packet, don't lose your bib number, once you get to that onboarding area, which we recommend that you get there and stay there 30 minutes prior to your starting time. You have plenty of space to stretch, foam roll, if you wanna bring your foam roller, uh, strategize, watch from the corner of the gym, totally up to you what you wanna do. But if you're not there and our onboarding team is loading people up, if you're late, you're gonna miss it. 
We're not getting on the mic, asking for your teammate. Please get there on time. 845. Uh, I think we pushed it back to 840. 840, 840, we're going to be doing the run through so you guys can get another visual of it. But again, it's not the judges or the onboarding team to tell you to work out. You need to know it prior to you getting there. All right. So, hey, man, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Let's freaking go. All right. Invite your family and friends. If the tickets are not sold out, pre-sale tickets, definitely send them a link. Guys, can't wait to see you. Y'all take care.